Yo, what's going on YouTube? JV here and today I have some more MLB The Show 20 content for you. In today's video, we're going to continue the Budget Beast series and we're going to talk about second basemen and guys that you could put at the second base position that will, you know, pretty much be low cost but could be, you know, high reward. So, yes, second baseman, Budget Beast let's get to the video all right guys so first up on our list is going to be the 99 overall trey turner this card here has been one of my favorite cards to use as a utility guy off the bench just because of the speed obviously the speed's going to jump right off the page at you but at the same token he can play pretty much all around the diamond he also plays center field second and third he's a pretty average card as far as you know all around attributes go he can hit it he's got a little bit of power right 85 power against righties 72 power against lefties he's got a really short nice swing for a right-handed hitter his fielding's a1 and again the speed just pops off the chart at you right all right so let's take a look at the card here he's going to cost you about 10,000 stubs but yeah for 10k this is a guy that you can you put in that lineup not only play second base with him but also you know anywhere in the infield outside of first base and then obviously he plays center field as well which is huge especially with that speed so yes trey turner first up on our list let's take a look at the next one all right guys so number two on my list is going to be the new card that was added yesterday in that 10th inning in world series part two program if you haven't checked out the content that was dropped yesterday guys please make sure to check out the previous video the link will be down in the description as well but tons of new content came out yesterday a bunch of new diamonds and this steve pierce here is one of them you see he has the second base secondary and if you look down below he just absolutely mashes the baseball now you got to be a little bit careful because he could hurt you defensively the speed's a little eh but at the end of the day especially this card from last year this is one of those cards that just lights it up offensively the ball just seems to really 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 jump off his bat glad that they released this card yesterday he's one of those cards that you can sneak in at second base and you're really 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 going to get offensive production i will say this you have to grind him obviously in the world series program he is not available on the market so you go to that world series program and you do a little bit of grinding he is yours for free so another plus side of this stephen pierce but yes He's number two on the list. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, guys. So next up in number three on our list is going to be the 99 Joe Morgan. Again, a card that was released to us yesterday. 10th inning program and the, you know, the World Series Part 2 and all the cards that they released. An absolute slugger against right-handed pitching, right? You see the, the 123 contact, the 107 power. I think that power is actually a little bit better. He has one of those juiced swings out of a lefty. So if you have a right-handed pitcher up, I would say that power feels more like 115 plus, maybe a little bit higher than that. Ball just jumps off his bat, like I said. Um, he hits lefties okay, right? You might struggle a little bit versus lefties, but this is why we have people on the bench and guys you can platoon them with. Maybe a little bit of Joe Morgan and Steve Pierce. I don't know, just giving you an idea. And yes, this card is free to obtain. I will take a look at how to do so here real quick for you. So let's back out here. Let's go to programs, player program, and check out the Joe Morgan program right here you just got to get 50 points right so you got to play these moments here that you see on the left as well as a couple of the missions it was just you know defeat the computer on an all-star difficulty and i just had to exchange second basements and then bam the joe morgan card is you uh is yours so great speed great fielder bopper against right-handed pitching the vision's at 110 he's gonna have a huge pci and if you struggle with him against lefties then just have somebody on your bench who you can platoon him with i.e stephen pierce or somebody like that this is a card that i'm using currently in my rank seasons lineup he's my leadoff hitter i've been trying him out be a lookout on a uh you know be a look be on the lookout for a debut video here soon but yeah Joe Morgan, he's number three on our list. Let's check out the next one. All right, guys, so number four on our list is going to be the 98 overall Ozzy Albies. And you can find him on the market for about 6K as far as a buy order goes. That could change by the time you watch this video. Or you can grind him out for free in the postseason moments. 
or the postseason collection. So check that out if you really don't want to use the stubs to, to, you know, to pay for them on the market. But we got a switch hitter. Gotta love the fact that he's a switch hitter. He's got the diamond defense, diamond hitting, absolutely slugs against left-handed pitching. So this could be a guy that you platoon with that Joe Morgan card, who we did just mention, and you could have some success there considering he smashes lefties and Joe Mo smashes righties. But at the end of the day, this Ozzy Albee card also is a switch hitter. So you can you can hit him against righties and or lefties, whatever you prefer. But yeah. Awesome piece of content here. Like I said, I love that he's a switch hitter. He's a little bit shorter for my liking at 5'8", and you can kind of tell in the box, but you're going to have that issue with Joe Morgan as well, potentially. But yes, an overall great piece of content. He also plays shortstop. I would not play him at shortstop if I were you. You know, just a warning, but yeah, you'll have success with this card if, if you're good hitting with short players and you like switch hitters. I liked this card. I've used him a few times. He's not going to play over a guy like Joe Morgan or something for me, but yeah, overall, nice piece of content. Pretty cheap card, switch hitter. That's a W. Let's check the fifth and final card on this budget beast second based video. All right, so next up on this list is going to be the 99 overall Corey Seager, MVP of the World Series, Corey Seager. And I know he plays a primary position of short, but I'm just guessing a lot of you guys out there might have a guy like Tatis, the 99 Carrera, whatever it may be, already playing at short. And defensively, I think the Seager's a better fit at second. That's just me. That's my opinion. So I like to play this Seager at second, and that's why I'm going to put him on this budget uh, beast list, because I think more people than not are going to use him as second and third compared to short. So yes, little rant, but that's why he's going to be on this list as a budget beast for second base. This card is not available on the market. However, you do have to grind out the part two of the World Series program, which released yesterday. Make sure you check out yesterday's video again, but an absolute bomber of a card. Look at these offensive numbers mixed with the Corey Seager patented swing, which is beautiful. So this card just screams absolute W. You got plus 100 against each side in contact and power. He's even got 122 power against lefty. So even though he's a left-handed hitter, he hits lefties better in the game, which is always clutch. And again, he could play second base for you. I think he's going to be a gold card at second base defensively, but we might be shocked. I haven't, uh, I, I haven't the memory to remember absolute fire piece of content like i said you have to grind him out in the world series program part two so he is free as long as you put a little bit of work into it nothing crazy not too hard to obtain but an absolute beast we're talking potentially a top five six seven hitter in the entire game with this card right here as long as you're uh, a fan of the Corey seager swing like me but yes let's check out his quirks really quickly we have hitting machine bomber 2020 vision sniper quick reflexes and walker and like i said just an awesome awesome card i cannot wait to use them i can't wait to uh play with them for the rest of the year right this is pretty much end game as far as the second base uh, position is concerned for me maybe even third base i'll i'll switch you know joe morgan tatis and and the new j ram and guys like that i'll switch them back and forth throughout the rest of the year but this is a guy who will be in the lineup a lot here down the stretch but yeah that's pretty much going to do it for the budget beast video i appreciate you guys for watching tomorrow's video will be short stops and then the day after that third base i'm going to start ramping up about one or two uploads a day here every day moving down the stretch as we're getting more comfortable with youtube content for those of you guys who have been tuning in and watching i do appreciate you very much don't be afraid to hit that like button subscribe notification bells all that good stuff so you don't miss a beat moving into the 2021 season and again thank you guys for watching have a good day and yeah go tribe peace